The displace filter is one of the many ways to distort an image. In the Photoshop Online Help, it is under Guided Edits, Effects and Filters. The instruction is deceivingly simple. It is commonly used to place a design on a t-shirt mock-up like this one. Let's create our design smart layer over the front area of the t-shirt. By drawing a rectangle to be used as our design placeholder. Before distorting the shape to match the shirt, convert it to a smart layer first. Match the rectangle corners to the shirt with free transform. Use control or options key while dragging a corner or side. Press check button or enter key to commit the transform. Don't forget to save the mockup. Let's edit the placeholder. For the purpose of seeing how well the displace filter works, let's use a grid pattern as our design. A displacement map is needed for the displace filter. First, we create a group for displacement map adjustments. Let's select an area for the displacement. And make sure there's enough edge margin. Then use our selection to mask out non-displaced areas. A displacement map should be in grayscale. with a high contrast for good measure. Temporarily place the photo in the displacement folder and use its mask. Add a solid black or white background to the whole document. Select all and copy merge the displacement map. Create a new document from the clipboard and paste the displacement map. To make sure it works, it's important to flatten the displacement document before saving it as a PSD file. Let's now hide away all displacement-related adjustments. Select our design smart layer and apply the displace filter. With the full grid lines, we can see how well the displace effect is distorting the design placeholder. To add some highlights and shadows to the design, use a linear light opacity. This will cause the color to brighten. So let's make a group for the design adjustments. And apply the linear light opacity to it. darken back the color a little. You can set back the design layer to normal opacity. Let's now auto replace our smart layer with our set of new designs. For this demo, we will test with only three design replacements. Let's preview our exports.
You'll notice that some of the edges are jagged and sharp. This may be desired in mock-ups with rough textured textiles. But in this case, we want to smooth out the displacement by blurring it. Using the blurred version of the displacement map, let's see if we can get a smoother result. To update the displacement, simply double-click the Displace filter, and use the new displacement map. The grid lines indicate smooth displaced edges, resulting in smooth edges in the replacement designs. 